Hey, still alive. <laughs> um, so I got some feedback from my last two videos uh, from not YouTube comments, but from Germ, yeah, basically. Uh, the stories that I've been telling really don't go anywhere. They're exactly how memories are, right? They're just these small snippets. They don't always have some grandiose story to tell or a theme. It's memories are just kind of memories, you know? But I was thinking of changing how I'm making these videos, but I think I'm, I kind of like that idea because these are just what memories are. They are small captures in time. They might not even be moving pictures. Sometimes it's just an image that you remember. And I wanted to try to portray that in video, I guess. But whatever the case is, this... I'm not going to change what I'm going to do. I guess I'm just going to continue moving forward with telling these weird random memories that I have that I've kept inside of me since forever. So I'm just going to keep on going on with my memories even though it might not be linear. I'm hoping to at some point start jumping to different parts of my life and giving you guys a little bit more information about things that happened recently. But my next memory that I decided to divulge is actually my third earliest memory. <laughs> but it, it kind of fit in place and it was something I was already thinking about before. And since I told you guys I had two memories from kindergarten, might as well give you the second one. Oh, but I did decide to try and maybe dissect my memories a little bit more to kind of give you a little bit more context or just a little bit more information so it doesn't seem so abrupt or ending so quickly. Um, but this next memory also happens in kindergarten. Uh, this time it happens inside the classroom. The classroom, I remember it being pretty big, but I guess, you know, when you're three feet tall, every room is kind of pretty big. So, but I remember the classroom being pretty big and I'm sitting at my desk and I'm coloring or I'm drawing or I'm writing letters or I'm counting blocks or something, whatever kindergartners do, but I'm sitting at my desk and I have a piece of paper in front of me or I'm holding something. I don't really remember exactly what I'm doing. I'm assuming some sort of classwork. And there's this kid in my class, Randall, Randy, Rufio, Ruxton, I don't know. I can't remember his exact name. It started with an R. I'm sure if I pull up my school pictures i might be able to get his name i remember they like write all of the students name in those class pictures so it's probably there uh but this kid rufio he had a mullet he had kind of long brown hair and he was a bit smaller than me but i was a big fat kid so everybody's kind of a bit smaller than me but he was a bigger kid but smaller than i was and i'm sitting at my desk he walks over to me or runs over to me, something, but he comes at me and then pushes me. Right? He just kind of like... He just kind of, I guess, takes his arms, pushes me on the shoulder, and jolts me over to the side. And here I am this way. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what this kid was trying to do. He's trying to start a fight, I guess. I've never been in a fight before. I've never been pushed before. I'm five years old. I mean, this... Obviously, I've told you all my memories prior to this, so I don't remember being a fight. But he pushes me over, and that's kind of where my memory ends. There was... I don't remember crying. I don't remember talking to the teacher. I don't remember anything else other than I was scared. I was just pushed. I was jolted, startled, I don't know, everything panicking. Because I guess maybe this kid's going to punch me. I don't remember. I actually don't remember anything else about what happened 
after the fact. Um, that's kind of where my memory ends. I do know, or I do remember, a few years later, as an adult now, uh, I remember talking to my dad, and this was before my dad started losing his memory and everything, but I was talking to him and I brought up this kid, Rufio, Randall, whatever. And my dad was telling me that he hated that kid. He like, he wanted to hurt that kid. And I don't remember that. So I guess I must have told the teacher, I must have said something. Or maybe the teacher saw what happened and the teacher notified his parents and my parents and the principal. I don't remember. But my dad found out about it somehow. I'm sure my mom did. And I don't know what happened. What I know did happen is I later became good friends with the biggest kid at school. Or maybe he's the biggest kid at school. But the biggest kid in my class, Tyrone. And he was like the size of a second grader in kindergarten. He was just tall. I remember looking at a school yearbook. And he was... Because you arrange all the children by height. You know, tallest kid on the far left. And then you kind of just go down. But I remember him being like close to maybe almost the teacher height while the, while he's on a stand and the teacher standing on the floor but i became really good friends with him and i was good friends with him all through elementary school actually and i think because i was so good friends with him maybe that kid stopped bullying me but i don't remember this bully in first grade or second grade or anything else so i guess maybe the kid moved maybe he's gone maybe Somebody bullied him and he's gone forever. Hmm? That's what happens. That's kind of where my memory was. Uh, that's, that's about it. Alright. Don't die. <laughs>